My guest has certainly earned the right to call herself a prayer warrior and to teach us more about what that means. I'm sure there's no woman on the planet who's written as many books on the subject of prayer. Have you guessed already? It's Stormy O'Marty and back with us. We said she was coming. And uh, you know, I the last time we visited, Stormy, I wonder if people realize that you came to faith in Christ at 28 mm -hmm. out of a right. horribly abusive childhood. Yes. 23 years mentored by Pastor Jack Hayford, yes. Church on the Way. Yes. Wonderful foundation. Absolutely. But everything God has done in your life involves lessons in prayer and what really God has. can do. It really has. Well, when I came out of this abusive childhood, I was full of depression and anxiety and all of that. And to make a long story short, I, when I, when I um, received the Lord, that began to change. And I married my husband, Michael, about a year after that. Uh, and then um, I still had the depression, so I went to the counseling office and they had me fast and pray for three days and really making a long story short, but they prayed for me and that depression lifted. Permanently. Permanently. And I was shocked because I wasn't expecting that and that was an eye opener for me about the power of prayer. Now these ladies were prayer warriors and a prayer warrior is someone who has a heart of compassion for other people and wants to do something to help change the things that are going on, the, the difficult things that people are going through or, or the situations that are happening. And they're willing to pray. And um, How I, long? As long like as it takes. Like how long at a time and for how long? Oh, as long as it takes. And that's what, what I'm in this book, Prayer Warrior. I teach them how to be a prayer warrior and you are listening to the Holy Spirit. So it's not a drudgery. It's not like I have my, my lists and I'm gonna do this, even though I, you know, I'm looking at my watch, you know, how much longer do I have to do this? It's led by the Holy Spirit. And he, and he may get you in the supermarket and say, pray for that woman, or pray for this family member, or pray for this marriage, or pray for this situation. And you are in t touch with the Holy Spirit every day who enables you to pray, teaches you to pray, uh, leads you to pray. And um, I love the fact that he will enable you to actually pray. You know, he'll teach you what things to pray. Now you're talking about the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. literally uh, telling us what to pray and, and how to pray it. I don't know what's more intimidating for some people, the fact that they think they don't have the words to pray, they don't know how to do it, mm -hmm. or that God would come yes. and really yes. pray, pray through them. I know, and that was another thing when I wrote the Lead Me Holy Spirit book, I wanted people to know that when you receive the Lord, when you receive Jesus, He gives you the Holy Spirit. And I'm not talking about specific manifestations or outpourings, I'm not going there, I'm just talking about when you receive the Lord, you have the Holy Spirit in you. Because it says in the Bible that if you don't have the Spirit of Christ, then, you, then you're not His. And if you don't have the Holy Spirit, you're not His because that is the seal that you have received Jesus and have His Spirit and that's how God is with you. I'm always with you. And that's, that's how. how we are transformed. Yes, that's how we're transformed. Changed to be like Him. From the inside out. Yes, exactly. And so becoming a prayer warrior is, is understanding that there's opposition in the world. God has an enemy. And so God's enemy is our enemy. It's, it's, it's the difference between good and evil. And we are on the side that wins when we are, are receiving our orders from our commander, Jesus, um, you know, marching on God's, uh, in God's army. But we're serving him in a war zone. It's serving him in a war zone. And what I want people to understand that this war is going on whether you choose to engage in it or not, or even acknowledge it or not, there is a war going on. We have opposition. And when we understand that God wants us to be prayer warriors, to rise up in prayer and, and change things. So what's we the can. secret to effective prayers? Well, prayers of a righteous man? Yes, avail much. much. Yes, exactly. It's being led by the Spirit. It's being acknowledging who God is, who Jesus is. He's our commander. What our spiritual weapons are. One of our greatest spiritual weapons is the Word of God. It's mm. powerful. The, and and the battles that we we wage are in prayer. Prayer is the battle. It is the victory. It, it, yeah, it? it's the battle and the victory. It's prayer. So it's not something we can't do. We may not have the exact words or know, under, understand all the details of a situation, but the Holy Spirit can prompt us. And we say, Lord, he, uh, lead me in this. Uh, I, I want to pray for my marriage. I want to stand up for my marriage and, and just resist all opposition of the enemy to come and destroy it. And, and you just say, I'm going to pray for this marriage as long as it takes. You know I want to come back. Oh, yes, you have. To the this. very first book. Yes, great, The Power great. of a Praying Wife because the... Yes. The, the whole concept here was truly amazing. You were at your 
absolute wit's end, yes. ready to leave, yes. take the children. Yes, um, You had a, a, a husband with rage issues rooted in his childhood experience. Yes, exactly. And yeah. God made, spoke, the Holy Spirit spoke, yes, and me. made a very interesting proposition to you. Yes. What did he say? He said, if I would stop praying my favorite three-word prayer for my husband, which is change him, Lord, and start praying God's favorite three-word prayer for me, which is change me, Lord, and uh, that he would use me as an instrument of deliverance for my husband. Now, Stormy, there's another amazing thing that happened here. And that is that when you got the kind of reaction that was so unlivable, <laughs> you did not react. You waited for the Holy Spirit to show you the right response. Yes, exactly. And then the right, right. way to pray. Yes. To get at the things that would bring change in you. Yes, husband. exactly. Is this it, is what he does. Yeah, that's what he does. He changes you. And so when I tell the Lord, yes, I, I, I will do what you want. Teach me how to pray for my husband. And even though I wanted to leave, he says, lay down your desire to leave and let me teach you. And so I did. Whenever Michael would be angry or you start to get angry, I, I, instead of my reacting to it and withdrawing and, and whatever my attitude you know, was, um, I would pray, God, show me where this anger is coming from. Show me what to do. And the Holy Spirit did give you insight. Yes. It didn't come from you. You don't, you yes. don't know his whole journey. No. But God did. No, yes, exactly, exactly. And, and that was definitely not my reaction. My reaction would be like to stomp out and say, forget that. You know? And things began to change. Yes, they began to change because my... After attitude, years of gridlock. Yes, exactly. It was. It was amazing. It was amazing. And I, one of the things I did was I uh, said, Michael, I'm God's really convicted my heart about that you need to pray for you in a different way. And I, and I said, I want you to tell me every day when I ask you what you want me to pray for you today. That was the most rem uh, remarkable thing because he would sit down and tell me something that I know he would never have told me if I hadn't told him, I'm going to pray for you today. What do you want me to pray about? Building you know, trust. Yes, it was amazing. I was like, I, I was amazed. And it was really touching. We've come so far. We're, we're, we're celebrating our 40th anniversary this year. Fantastic. And that is a miracle. And we're, and we're better than ever, I mean, which is really amazing. So that's only God can do that. You talk about a partner, a prayer partner. The Bible talks about the power of agreement. Yes, so powerful. Uh, let's let's go here for a minute because mm -hmm. you know I, I know so many wonderful Christian ministries mm -hmm. and uh, educational institutions. Guess how they got there? Two women praying. Yes. You dig back to the foundation. Oh yeah. You find two women who oh, agreed yeah. and were persevering. Yes. They were prayer warriors. Yes, they were prayer warriors. Exactly. They stood for something, and it's about taking dominion over the forces of darkness in our in our lives, which are all around us, and saying that we're, we're going to promote what God's will is. You know, and one of the, the scriptures you know, backing that up is where Jesus said, "Where two or more are gathered in my name, I am there." that the presence of God, when the two are in agreement, the presence of God is powerful. And I, people sometimes don't understand that God is everywhere, yes, but his, the, the manifestation of his power happens when two agree, or when you're praying, or when two agree, and, and, and just is exponential how it builds, you know, three, four, five, however many of you have in agreement praying, it, it, that's how much more powerful it is. That's now, I, I don't know if that. you ever approached someone, because I mean, God started with the two of you, you oh, partnered yes. in the rescue of your dear husband. Yes, absolutely. But, uh, you talk in your book about approaching someone to be your prayer partner. Yes. And, you know, that person might say no. And you yes. say, don't get upset about that. Yes, because I may, that's probably not the right one. They're not the right person. No, exactly. And I always say, pray about that first, you know, because I, I didn't know either. I started a prayer group uh, with seven women, and I, I didn't know who. I moved into a new neighborhood, and I, you know, going to a church and everything. I knew a lot of different people, but you don't know who's really going to be a prayer, right prayer partner for you. So I asked the Lord to show me. And I said, Holy Spirit, show me who I should ask into this group. And he showed me one by one. And I asked them all in. And we were, it was such a powerful uh, prayer group. I, we saw miracles happen. And one of the things that we saw happen was that uh, I was just, you know, the only just relief, at least praying wife, I think, and, and um, praying power parent. Power of praying wife, and power praying, of praying parent. parent. Yes, and so we were praying, and I, and I really felt it led from the Holy Spirit. It wasn't just from selfish reasons, but I really felt led to pray that these books would go all over the world. And that was just, that, that was the words that God had given me. And we started praying, and it was about two years of praying that we just prayed it every time we got together that these books would go all over the world. And now they've been translated into 33 languages, all 
all of my books have been translated into 33 languages. Well over 23 million, 23 million sold yes. worldwide. Now, no one can make that happen. Only God can make that happen, you know, and um, that was an answer to prayer because we felt led by the Spirit. There were many more miracles than that, but that was one that was just astounding to us. We all said, oh wow, this is God, this is God. From your very first book, you model keeping short accounts with God, doing your part. Yes. Whatever you're praying for. Yes. Good. God's listening, but make sure you do your part, the prayer of a righteous yes. man or woman. Right. And you know, I think for a long time, I love this verse in 2 Corinthians 2, verses 10 and 11, that says, we are not unaware of Satan's schemes. Right. This is a spiritual right. battle. Absolutely. We better know how he works. Yes. But the context of that scripture is forgiveness. Yes, oh, so. Paul talks about yes. forgiving. I'm going to forgive you. You make sure your forgiveness is up yes. to date. Right. In order that Satan might not outwit us. Yes. For we are not unaware of his Yes, schemes. exactly. Unforgiveness separates us from God. You know, it, 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 it's not that, you know, God isn't in us anymore. It's just that he waits for us to take care of this and, and, and confess that before him and get free of that unforgiveness because we can't move beyond our unforgiveness. Whoever we're, whoever Whoever we're not forgiving, we're just going to be tied to that person you know, until we move beyond it. And, and our prayers will be ineffective. Yes, our prayers are ineffective, exactly. And the Holy Spirit helps us to forgive. And I had to forgive my mother. She was the abuser in my, in my childhood. And, God, and, the whole, and the Holy Spirit helped me to forgive her. It was like layer upon layer. You know, and that, but that, there was such healing in that, you know. It and sets you free. It, it sets you free, exactly. And I tell the, the prayer warriors in, in, in my book, Prayer Warrior, that where it says, you know, submit to God and resist the devil and he, and he will flee from you. When you submit to God, that's the key. Submit to God. You have to submit to him in every way. That is the key. That's how you resist. That's how you resist the enemy's encroachment upon your life is, is to submit to God, do what he says, and, and, and pray like he says, and let the Holy Spirit lead you as you pray. That's why your prayer life is, is exciting. It's, it's, it's bubbling with life because you're, you've got that flow of the Spirit in you telling you, guiding you how to pray, and helping you pray. It's exciting. This wife and mother of two <laughs> married children. Yes, yes, children. yes. Hallelujah. I think one looks like one mom, one looks like dad. It's yeah, just, oh, it's exactly oh, right. Everybody says that. Everybody says that, right? Just so yeah. blessed. She wants you to get there yes. to this joy in prayer, to seeing how God delights in answering our prayer. And Stormy O'Martin will walk you through. We've just had a few minutes to create a little sizzle. The steak is at our e-store. Prayer Warrior. It's available there. Be sure to get your copy today. Stormy, thank you for all you do. Oh, thank you. For, for walking us through, through all these years and through all these lessons thank in you. prayer. Thank you so much. And thanks for the privilege of being on your program. I'm so happy to do it. And anytime, I'll be glad to come. You know, I think just hearing a little taste, in case you're here with us for the first time and meeting Stormy, of what God's done in her life. It's created a longing, and I want you to know our prayer lines are available right now. Mm -hmm. Why not give us a call if we can agree with you? We'll be your prayer warrior right now. God bless you. And